Hi guys, welcome back to Freeze Drying Mama. I am so excited to tell you that I am the first video of the February Freeze Dry 2023. Freeze Dry, Freeze Dry, <laughs> I have a tongue twister this morning. Uh, I am recording this for this amazing collaboration. The Inquisitive Farm Wife reached out to me and asked if I could, if I would like to be a part of it. Of course, I'm so excited. Um, it, the point is to kind of introduce people to what freeze drying is and to help them move along their journey. And February is a terrific month to be doing that in. It's cold, at least where I'm at, which is in Missouri. And that's a great time to have your pump running and to have your machine running because computers and machines like the cold. I don't, <laughs> but my machine loves it. Um, and so this is a great time too to also start getting ready for the season. If you're a food, if you're into food storage, which I'm assuming you are because you freeze dry, you are probably also someone who cans de or, and dehydrates food. Maybe you freeze food, which means you also might be someone that is always looking for deals and might be a gardener. Like there's a whole bunch of of different things that come into being a food prepper. Um, freeze drying is just one of them. But one of the things that you're going to want to be doing, at least during this month of the freeze dry February, um, uh, this whole month of awareness that we're doing, I guess, this fun um, just to be aware of what we're doing, is you're going to want to start making plans, right, for the year. What are you going to plant? What kind of deals are you looking for? Um, where are you going to store your stuff? We're going to talk about that a little bit here as we're also getting ready to talk about this tremendous collaboration. There are prizes, there's gifts, there's a whole huge list. Check in my, in my comments in the description. I have a whole list of all the other amazing YouTubers that are talking about freeze drying and that are a part of this awesome, awesome. I'm just so excited. I keep saying awesome. I'm a dork, <laughs> but I'm going to mention really quick with the grand prizes. If you meant, if you like comment and you do all the things and you enter, Again, the, the rules are going to be in the descriptions and you'll see them around um, anytime you see the hashtag. Here's the hashtag. So anytime you see that hashtag, you'll know that it's a part of this collaboration. There's also this thumbnail. And when you see the thumbnail, you'll also know that they're a part of the collaboration. The giveaway for the grand prize will be given on March 3rd. And it's from Harvest Right. And it's one of these suckers, a medium freeze dryer. That is so generous. I love mine so much. I'm so excited for the winner. And if you happen to buy one before um, that you like before the month ends, they'll refund you your money or you'll get another one. Whatever. It's for one win winner. That's for our grand prize winner. Um, Brian at retired at 40 life live simple live life simple. I always mess that up. But Brian at retired at 40. Um, he's an awesome guy. He always has some really tremendous YouTube videos. He's also donating some things. Um, I'm trying to get some things in there. So there's lots of opportunities to really immerse yourself in this culture, which it is a culture. Um, for instance, one thing that you'll notice in, in um, the <laughs> freeze drying community is the mention of the yellow lid bins. I'm going to show you my wall of yellow lid bins. So there is some of my yellow lid bins. Thank you to my awesome son at WP Missouri Outdoors for doing my camera work. He always does a tremendous job. And if we'll also come this way, you can see some this way as well. Um, this is <laughs> the yellow bins. Every yellow bin that you saw is full of freeze dried foods, except for this one right here. This one has room for about 10 more packages. So I have another load and a half maybe. Um, the reason that we have yellow bins and not like the Rubbermaid ones, the Rubbermaid ones are fine, but we have had a situation um, when we lived back in Idaho and we had a crawl space and we were putting our bins down there. The ones that were the Rubbermaid ones, um, the green, you know, where the, the lids don't really clip tight very well, we had a lot of mice get in. Um, I'm not saying that these are impenetrable, but I can sure zip tie these a little bit easier because they have... Um, they have these locket things on the sides. They're like holes. You can see how my finger can go up. So we can zip tie those. And it keeps them nice and tight. I haven't had any problems yet. I'm hoping my cat does her job and she keeps the mice out. Either way, they're very nice to stack and they're very easy to fill. <laughs> Filling up is so much fun. I've seen a lot of tremendous ways of people storing their food. Some people do them in jars. Another um, sponsor that we have for this collaboration is Four Jars. I'm going to put a link in the description below. Um, I love them. They're the lids. The, they're these lids that I've never had problems with. And lately, if you are a canner or you're someone who likes to store their freeze drying items in jars, you've probably noticed that the most recent um, lids that have been coming out from Care and Ball, they are popping easier. There's a lot more fail 
um, loads, if you will. And I don't like that. But four jars, I've been using them for about a year and a half now since the middle of the pandemic and phenomenal lids. I have not had one fail on me and I do all kinds. I do pressure canning. I do the, um, the food saver where it does the vacuum seal. Um, I've done the water bathing. I've done all kinds of things and I've not had one four jar lid um, bust and they are doing this. So I would definitely use the four jars, uh, the four jar lids. If you, um, so check them out. They'll, they'll have a link down below in the description. I just looked down like I was actually looking at the description. It's a Friday morning here. I feel like it's a Monday. Um, so, so check them out. There's also, like if you have a food saver, the fresh food saver, I use those for storing things in my freezers before I'm gonna put them into my freeze dryer. Um, not everything gets put into the freeze dryer. That's something that you're gonna need to figure out. I've got some videos on how to plan for camping how to plan for track, um, like long-term storage, how you're gonna do that. But the biggest thing that we're gonna be doing this month, talking about everybody has their different ways of getting into freeze drying. The most important thing that I want you to keep in mind throughout the month of February is that there is no wrong way to do something. If you're watching someone and you're like, I don't really love the what they're doing, I get the premise, but I don't love it, Push your own spin on it. Do it your own way. There is no right, want, right or wrong way to do something, especially unless you've tested it. Once you test it and you figure out for yourself, that's gonna be what's gonna work for you. It's more humid in my area than it is where I was back home, so I have taken certain measures, okay? So I just want you to keep that in mind as we're going forward with this month. We've got some amazing people that are working towards this and showing their different tips and tricks. Uh, I'm gonna show you what happened. So really fast, um, as we get into what my video is about, my husband's been working on our garage, and so he built these shelves for me. He's been finishing them up, putting up around corners. Uh, you can see over on that side how he's still muddy and stuff. So the garage space is um, getting towards awesome, um, but my freeze drying space, which he has kept open for me, kind of took a hit. That's okay. I'm okay with that. Um, I'm okay with that. That's It's because I can still use it, but it gets dirty really easy. So one thing I want you to do this month while we're going through this whole month of getting to, you know, get to getting back into freeze drying and kind of doing a freeze drying awareness month, what I want you to do is I want you to make sure that your station is ready. Okay, so that means you're going to make sure that you have what bags you're going to use. You might have the resealable ones. Um, you might have the ones that this one was smashed because my cat jumped on it. But this is a non-resealable, and this is a thin five millimeter, and this is a seven, okay? And this one is resealable, and it has the opening, okay? And they have like little notches. So you wanna make sure that you have enough of your bags that are ready. You're gonna to wanna to keep your area clean. My area obviously is not clean right now. I haven't touched it in about four days, and it is driving me insane. But again, I'm just gonna wait until the dust settles from, the, from that. Um, you also wanna make sure that you have some kind of a tray stacker. These little suckers, I'll put another link down below. I love these for my trays. And again, I have the medium. Um, but these go on the corners and they just make sure they just snap on the corners. And then that way you can put another tray on top without it encroaching on the integrity of the food inside. I especially use these when I do soups, um, eggs, spaghetti, cheese, when I'm gonna you know, put anything in the freezer, that's when I'll use those. You wanna make sure you always have an extra set of trays. I have three sets of trays. Um, I always try to keep some extra or keep them around. These little suckers, the oxygen packs, I have open bags all over the place. Um, this is because I one time opened up a really, really great load of, I think it was mashed potatoes and gravy, and I was so excited, and I couldn't find my oxygen packets anywhere. I was freaking out. I was looking everywhere, and my daughter had organized my space, which means I don't know where anything was put, so I was like, where's my stuff? And she grabbed it. She's like, oh, mom, it's down here in this nice little cubby. And I was like, that's the garbage. So that's not a nice little place to put it. So anyways, you want to make sure that you have things like this available. Always make sure you have a set of scissors, free, like a permanent marker so you can write on your bags. You might label your bags differently than me. I like to label at the top. Um, whenever I do my, my freeze-dry stuff, I always label off or if I've sealed it down here, I'll label it where it's not gonna be over the food. Because sometimes the permanent marker, it can seep, and that's okay, but you don't want it to seep into your food space. Um, so always also make sure that you have a place to put your finished product. I don't know if I have, you can see where I've got space in here for about 10, and 
I label cheese and then I do the month and then the year. I don't usually do the day because it gets tedious and I get bored fast. This is sh this is going to be shredded cheese. I can feel it. I can hear it. Um, I did. I am sending my son his food to Brazil. If you saw my last video, um, I'm really excited because he had. I sent him some pancake mix um, and syrup, and he had some, and he was like, "Mom, I'm so happy. It was the first American meal that I've had in like four months." So I'm sending him the Thanksgiving meal that you guys watched in the last video, and so I'm excited to hear how much he likes it. I'm also kind of sad. I hope it doesn't make him homesick. So that's just an update on what's going on here. So I'm excited for you. I'm really, really excited for you. Make sure that you have extra oil, that you have a funnel to put your stuff into your machine. You have a way to drain your oil and you have a catch-all. I have a bigger bucket here. Um, my son just informed me that our cat drinks the water. So I try, I'm not going to be emptying the water as much. He's like, the cat loves the water. And I said, the cat has water. The cat loves this water. So I feel like maybe it's kind of like toilet water for cats. I don't know. I'll leave it there and just not change it as frequently. She's spoiled. So whatever. Um, but just make sure that those things are in place. We have a standard cleaner, not for the inside. Bleach does not go inside of my, of my drum. I do a vinegar rinse. Um, but this is for the outside. And as you can see, I'm going to need it. It's <laughs> getting dusty. But my husband was sweet enough to cover it with a moving blanket when he does the actual dusting. So make sure you have toilet paper. Again, I keep these little suckers um, to put more of my uh, oxygen packets in if I you know, get down however, like, oh, I only have two, I need a bigger bag. So I keep things, there's just things you wanna keep around. Like I said, I use this oil. Um, if you're on under warranty with Harvest Right, don't use this oil. Um, they have certain requirements that they want. I think it's Robin Air. So look and see what you're supposed to use. I'm with the older school one. I think I've had mine for four or five years now. And this is what I use. This is me. Um, so yeah, just be ready. I've got some extra pumps sitting around couple gaskets sitting around. I've got my door pass sitting around. So just be ready for when you are, just make sure everything's ready and ready to go so that when you start freeze drying or you get all ramped up and excited again, you have all of your items that you need. Um, I think that's all I'm going to say this time. Oh, actually, this is like my favorite thing for scooping stuff off. Super cheap. I have a link for it. Um, not too bad. I got like a whole set for like eight bucks off of Amazon. Love it. Usually I go for the US made, so I have a link for that too. That's a little bit more expensive, but you know I totally support anything US made. Um, yeah, I'm just excited to do this collaboration. Put your links or put comments down. Um, again, all of the people that were going to be a part of this, I'm going to put in the description. So it's going to be a nice big long chunk of description. Check out my blog. I have a couple challenges on there. Um, I would love to have you sign up and so that we can be interacting in the community. And I am just so excited to be doing this. All right, guys, it's freezing out here. So I think I'm going to let my son off the hook. Um, happy February. Happy freeze dry February. And um, free, I'm just hit subscribe and hit the notification button. And I'm excited to be doing this. Let me know what you think. Thanks, you guys.